Hi guys, good morning. So today we are going to practice making qualitative and quantitative observations. So last class, we talked a little bit more about this, but we're gonna review some of our vocabulary. So we know that an observation is using our senses and tools to record data about an object or an event. Now, we talked about two different types of observations. The first one that scientists use is qualitative observations. That is using our five senses to observe. The second observation was quantitative, and that is using measurements and tools to observe. Now, to go ahead and start off, we're gonna start off with our little cheer, little song, and it is to the tune of head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I'm gonna go ahead and say the first line, and then you're gonna repeat after me, and we're gonna go through all uh, four lines. All right, y'all ready? Okay, let's get started. Qualitative observations, five senses. Qualitative observations, five senses. Qualitative observations, five senses. Qualitative observations, five senses. We use our senses to make observations. We use our, our senses, senses to make observations. observations. Qualitative observations. Five senses. Qualitative observations. Five senses. Awesome. Y'all did so good. All right. So now we're actually going to make qualitative observations. So last class, I asked you to get a penny and a ruler. Put a thumbs up if you have your penny and your ruler. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start us off with the first example. So whenever I look at the penny, I see Abraham Lincoln. on my penny, yep. And so now, um, now we could all have different observations, but for time's sake, we're just gonna keep moving on. So whenever I drop a penny, what do you hear? I hear a ring. A ring, yeah, that's awesome. Yep, a ring or like a ding sound, good example. Now when you touch a penny, what does it feel like? I feel ridges. Awesome, yeah, it feels kind of rigidy, kind of hard. Um, now, I'm not going to ask you to taste the penny because uh, for safety's sake, I know that we're not going to do that. I'm sure some of you'll have, though. Um, but so I'm going to put NA for not applicable. So when you smell a penny, what does it smell like? I smell metal. You smell metals. Yeah. Awesome. Those are all really good observations. Now we're going to keep moving on. So quantitative observations. So I don't have a chant or a song for you, but I do have a little tip. So quantitative, it has a, the letter N in it, and we can associate the letter N with numbers and measurements. So I asked everyone to bring a ruler. So I want you to go ahead and measure your penny and see how long it is, and make sure you put it at the first dash of your ruler. Like line it up. So who can tell me? It's three quarters of an inch, about. Awesome. Perfect, okay, now, if we were in class, I would ask you to uh, put the penny on a scale, but since we're all at home, um, we're gonna have to use our benchmarks to know how much it, this weighs. Now, thankfully for us, a penny is one of our benchmarks, and so it is equivalent to an ounce. So a penny is one ounce. Awesome, so how many pennies do we have? Everyone has one. Awesome, one penny. Perfect, and our height of our penny is gonna be the same as our length. So we know our penny is going to be three-fourths of an inch. And who can tell me what their age of their penny is? It's gonna be your the year. So you're gonna to have to look at the year and tell me what the age is. My penny is 17 years old. 17 years old, awesome, okay. So now we're gonna do some quick practices. So if it is a qualitative statement, I want you to put up a five for the five sentences. If it's quantitative, I want you to put up a ruler. So the flower smells sweet. Awesome, qualitative. It's because you can, you're using your sense of smell. Now the elephant weighs 9,000 pounds. Yes, awesome. It's quantitative because we're weighing. Uh, we're only gonna do one more. So I can hear the kittens meowing. Is it qualitative? or quantitative? 
quality because you're using your sense of hearing. All right, guys, I think that's all that I have for you today. Um, and I hope you have a great day.